Welcome to the Informed Woman magazine, where science meets clarity and knowledge becomes strength. I'm William Bologna. Let's make women's health understandable together. What if one of the most common viruses on the planet could help trigger one of the most mysterious autoimmune diseases? Epstein-Barr virus infects almost every adult on Earth. But in people with lupus, something different happens. Lupus patients often carry higher EBV loads, stronger antibody responses, and weaker control over the virus once it goes dormant, and this may be where the trouble begins. One major theory is molecular mimicry. EBV's proteins look eerily similar to key proteins inside our own cells. So, when the immune system attacks the virus, it may accidentally attack the body too. EBV lives inside white blood cells called B cells, or B lymphocytes, which are already hyperactive in lupus. In genetically predisposed people, the virus can push these cells into overdrive, fueling abnormal antibodies and disrupting immune tolerance, and research shows that lupus patients often have weaker T-cell surveillance, a type of immune cell that originates in the bone marrow and matures in the thymus, allowing EBV to reactivate again and again, constantly firing up the immune system. EBV doesn't directly cause lupus but it appears to be a powerful environmental trigger that interacts with a person's genetics, potentially accelerating the onset and severity of the disease. Understanding this connection brings us one step closer to unraveling lupus and improving early detection and treatment. Thanks for watching another video by the Informed Woman magazine. Please feel free to comment and ask questions. Subscribe for more science-driven medical insights.